this video, we're going to look at some 2D functions of the Tremos V9 height gauge, specifically geared towards bolt hole patterns. To enable our 2D functions, we're going to hit the 2D icon, bringing us to our 2D display where the gauge is waiting for us to take some measurements. I'm going to go ahead and measure the bolt hole pattern on our demo piece and present it on our display. The biggest point in this operation is that we're going to measure all of these diameters, then we're going to rotate our part, ideally 90 degrees, but if not, we can accommodate any, any degree of rotation. The most important key to that is that when we go and remeasure the same holes, that we measure them in the same order that we measured them the first time. I'll go ahead and measure the first diameter using our diameter process, slightly off center, engaging the probe, sweeping it, driving up, engaging the probe back, and releasing. Coming over to my second bore and doing the same. Engage the probe, sweep it, go up, bring it back, and release it. As I continue my process, I'm going to do the same operation through each one of the bores present in my bolt hole pattern. What the gauge is currently doing is presenting all of these bores in one single z-axis and when we rotate the part 90 degrees it will present it in our full 2D image. So I'll measure this larger bore to complete the first part of the process. Sweeping the probe, driving up, bringing it back, releasing. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the red button in the bottom left hand corner of the display that's showing me a rotation. So when I hit that button it gives me a check mark. That check mark is saying that I've defaulted to rotating the part 90 degrees. Now I'm going to go and repeat the process as I did originally. So I'm going to go back to the same bore that I measured first and I'm going to measure it first again. And then the same bore that I measured second and I'm going to measure that second again. And so on through the entire process. Once we've completed the full cycle, we'll have the bolt hole pattern presented on our display. And lastly, the large bore. And now you see the bolt hole pattern presented to us in the same orientation that we see on our part. So now that we've measured all of the diameters and we have our bolt hole pattern presented on our display, we can pull some dimensions out of it. First, we can look at our grid, which is going to give us the coordinates as well as the diameters of each of the bores that we measured. We can also do rotations bolt hole diameters, angles, lengths. So if I cycle to the next page by hitting the Tremos button, we have more options. So most commonly, we're going to want to check the bolt hole diameter. So I can go ahead and I can select each of my outer diameters by highlighting them with my finger or a pen, a stylus of some sort. Once all of my bores are highlighted in green, I can hit the circle button over here which is going to give me my bolt hole diameter. You'll see it'll give me the XZ position as well as the min and max and the center, the central um, dimension is my average bolt hole diameter. I can hit the red box that'll deselect everything that I have selected previously. I can also measure angles between, di between bores. So if I select bore number four, bore number seven, and bore number three, I can ask for the angle between those bores at 59.95 degrees. I could deselect all of them. I could select bore 5, bore 7, and bore 4 and ask for the angle between all of those, which is 60.0015 degrees. I could deselect all of those again. I could take any two diameters, number 4 and number 3, and I could get a distance. I could get multiple distances. The first distance, L, is the center to center distance, 2.36 inches. If I want to know the distance 
in x or the distance in z, I have the distance in x and the distance in z from both of those bores. x value being 1.1 inches and the z value being 2.0 inches. I could deselect those as well. I could also select multiple bores and I could ask for the straightness of the line between the center point of all of these bores. That being my function that is right next to the my bore sign. So here, the straightness of this is 0 0.0003 or 3 tenths. And again, I could deselect all of those. If we switch over to more functions, you'll see that I'm aligned currently to bore 1 and bore 2, but if I wanted to reorientate this part, I could do so. If I wanted to select bore 6 and bore 1, and I wanted to reorientate to those bores, I could simply hit my orientation button, and now you'll see that I'm orientated to bore 1 and bore 6, basically allowing us to realign the bore on the display as opposed to how we presented it to the part. And so those are some of the 2D functions of the Tremos V9 height gauge.